We are going to put this solid state drive that I had to drive for a while to get into this 21.5 inch iMac. I don't want to do this, but I will. Yay! Um, the steps for this, it's uh, not fun. You have to cut the adhesive that goes all the way around this screen. And then you have to pull the screen off, and it's a combined fused glass LCD deal. You also can't cut the adhesives on the bottom off, so you have to open it a little bit and cut away at those. It, it sucks. This sucks. Nobody likes this. So, typically what the iFixit folks would have you do first is shove this cute little thing, what they call a service wedge, in there. And the reason that I actually spent money on iFixit stuff is because it makes it a lot easier to deal with this crap. So we're going to give our iMac a little wedgie over here and shove this meticulously shaped piece of cardboard into it so that the screen doesn't flop. Now I will tell you the first time I did this I didn't know about the service wedge thing. I didn't know exactly how it was going to go and I ended up dropping the glass straight down and cracking it. It was not a good day. No, uh, Diego, not any SSD. IMAX, um, even newer ones, typically came with a SATA laptop drive. Older IMAX, the big chunky ones, came with a desktop size drive. But this, I think, is a 2012 or 2013. And it comes with a laptop size drive. I mean, you couldn't fit a desktop drive in this chunky piece of crap. So what do you expect? Now, I have the camera set up so that I can remove it from this tripod and hold it freehand if I need to show you something whenever I start getting into this. This whole thing is sort of haphazardly put together. And since my computer screen was going to be up there anyway, I've decided to put a slideshow of a collection of images from Real Ultimate Power of ninjas up there. <coughs> now, just to be clear, I'm sick. You can hear it in my voice. I don't want any health advice. Uh, I'll be fine. I actually feel better now than I did earlier today for sure. Let's not talk about it any further. That's why I sound kind of like somebody took a Smurf out back, beat it up, and stuck a rod down its throat. So this is an adhesive wheel. You basically, it's, it's like a pizza cutter for the adhesive. You have to run it around the edge of the screen like this, dodging the eyesight camera, and then put it back in oh dear that was loud put it back in cut around the edge here and down now I've already done it on this one just because it's annoying to do and I don't like doing it so I went ahead and got it out of the way but I thought I'd show it to you anyway let me get the notifications to not make noises so you don't hear my cell phone alright then, once you've done that, sometimes you still have to kind of cut with this thing. But yeah, the screen should at least peel forward at some point, especially if you have nice fingernails like me. You can, here, maybe you can see that more head on. And you see it coming up. The adhesive has to be ripped in half. It's this foam crap. Oh man, of course a freight train goes by at night. That That's great. That's really great. So, let's get this off. Come on. Come on. Like I said, sometimes the adhesive is not cooperative and you have to kind of stick this in here and cut it a little bit more to get it to play nice. Okay. We are at that point. All right. I actually forgot to get something. Let me go find the packing tape because we're going to need it. Where is that tape? Here, tapey, tapey, tapey. Just want a little packing tape. No, no big deal, just a little packing tape. <coughs> yeah, good luck. 
I have no idea where I put that. Of course, I'd forget to look for that before I start a stream, damn it. Well, <coughs> no packing tape? That sucks. I got painter's tape. That's usually what they tell you to use anyway, but packing tape is tougher, so whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape the screen up. Oh, I hate this stupid painter's tape. Come on. We don't want this uh, screen to just flop out by itself of its own accord. So let's stick this bad boy down and we'll take that off whenever we're ready for it to fall down. Right now is not that time. and. Out of sheer paranoia, let me grab this. If it does fall for any reason, it has a very comfortable bed. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Yuck. Okay, first deal here. If you can see in here at all, there are wires going here, there are wires going there. This wire has to come loose. Can get out of there now. Come on, let go. It's pretty hard to see. Let's see what we got here. Ah, yeah, okay. It's got little nubs you can get with a fingernail. That's good. All right, wire number two, of course, is a scrawny little laptop style power or uh, LED, LCD, whatever. Man, I can't talk tonight. Wire there, and I could have sworn there was a third one somewhere in several descriptions, but I don't see it, so I guess not. Keep in mind, while this is like a 2013, the other one I'm going to do is much newer. It's a 2019. <sighs> Diego, how much do I charge for this? Um... I charge, typically I keep disassemblies for most more complicated things like laptops or funky desktops like this that are difficult. Uh, I try to cap that labor at $120. Um, these, sometimes I'm tempted to charge more for these, but part of the problem that I have is more of a practice gap. like. I'm not as good at this because this is quite literally the third adhesive attached iMac screen that I've ever done so yeah you can imagine okay the screen cables are detached I really just need this to come off at this point so lean it forward gently and hold it Hold it. Don't, 
don't fall, you sorry sack. All right. You can hear the adhesive rip. And keep in mind, too, the cost, uh, the amount I charge to do this, part of it is because of where I live. If I was in California and I charged 120 to do the labor on this, um, I would probably be homeless in very, very short order. But, you know, whatever. I don't really like talking about my pricing structures in general on here. So, we'll just leave it at that. Man, that adhesive is very stuck. Yep, now this is a distinct advantage to being fat. You can use your stomach as a sort of table. I know there's a lot of reasons to not be fat, but That one works in my favor, so I am not complaining. Yep, here it comes. It really is this horrible slow process of rocking it back and forth and getting pissed off. That adhesive really needs to let go. Come on, you daffy bastard. I mean, it's stuck hard. This one... is stuck particularly hard so there we go once you get some good purchase on it come on there we go now I'm in trouble now it's out. <coughs> okay. So the most, okay, the second most annoying part is done. Hard drive right there. What are you? Let's find out. Hey, is this stream boring enough yet? Let me know so that I can make sure that it's sufficiently boring. Are you a T8? No, you are not. Are you a T10? Yes, yes you are. Here, so you can see better. What I'm doing here, getting this hard drive bracket out. I need to magnetize this bit. Hold on. <coughs> I wonder how many of you will actually sit around and watch me do this horrifically boring job. Let me know. I'm curious. Very curious. I think that's not quite focused close enough. That looks a little better. Okay. Sticky. The rubber mounts are sticky. Just because they're rubber and they've been in there for God knows how long. Get this stupid hard drive up. This is actually what Apple calls a fusion drive. It has a built-in 128 gig solid state cache. Uh, crap, that cable's really short. We're gonna have to force that cable out. You dick, okay. There we go. All right, let's 
get the uh, rubbery gooey side off here. Hard drive. Yay. Hard drive. Yay. So happy to hard drive. I'm trying to get that focus to be a little bit nicer for you all. All right. I mean, this really is pretty straightforward. It's just, it's a one-to-one -one swap, you know, except uh, this SSD is a seven millimeter, not a nine. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't necessarily need these rubber things because this is not a hard drive, but I like to put the original parts back into any computer, if at all possible. So in that regard, yeah, I kind of do need it. Oh, uh, while I'm in here, this is the crappy cooling system. <coughs> uh, I believe that these are the speakers. If my iMac-ology is up to snuff, um, that's the power supply board. I'm not going to lick it. That's the motherboard. I'm not going to lick that either. Getting this plugged back in is a nightmare. Look, you like my arm? Yeah, there you go. That's, that's what you really came to see is my chonky arm in front of the camera, not, not a hard drive going back in. Come on now. This wire is just way too damn short. Let me just... Do I have enough slack I can do something with it? Pivot it out or something? I don't think so. Okay. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try to plug this in indirectly. Because the problem is it's not actually backed by anything. It's on a short cord, but that's it. Like, there's there's nothing else to it. It's just short. But nothing back there is going to hold it for me. So getting it plugged in is a real bitch. If you ever needed a reason not to have a friggin' iMac, here it is. Although I guess once it is plugged in, no one cares. Alright, you scumbag. There's got to be a way to get this done a little easier. I hate these. I really hate these. Piece of shit. And that's being nice to it. Yeah. See, I don't want to take that speaker out. Just plug into the damn drive. Plug into the godforsaken drive. You complete piece of utter garbage. Getting it out from under this damn speaker is almost impossible. I may have to take the speaker out just to plug it in. That'll piss me off more than a little bit. But I think that's what I'm going to have to do. This is way harder than the last time, I tell you what. Of shit. Hey, bro, thanks for subscribing. Or sis, I don't know. We're not sexist on this show. You can come out now. Piece of crap. Yeah, that might be enough. I may not need to take it all the way out just to get this plugged up. I just need to get my finger back there. Just enough. Just enough. To plug it up. On the way down. That's it. Can we just get the drive in? Can we, can we just... Can we just go in? And then worry about the wire a little bit later? Maybe pulling that speaker has given me a little leeway here. 
And by that I definitely mean a little. Very little. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, that's looking good. I thought. You really just don't want to plug up, do you? Like the connector's right there and it's not going. You daffy bastard. Right. The good news is that I only really have to do this one one time per computer and I'll probably never see it again. The bad news is since I just told you that, this thing is doomed to come back. So, there it is. Okay, I got it. That was way more of a pain in the ass than it needs to be. I mean, seriously, who comes up with this nonsense? Good morning. <sighs> All right. All right, now let's pretend that none of that horrible stuff ever happened. And we can move on with our lives. Okay, solid state drive. <clears throat> now, um, I will say, I already did a clone of the existing system to this drive. That process is annoying, and I'd love to document it, but this is just not the appropriate time for that. These Macs need to be done by Thursday, and while technically it's uh, Tuesday for the purposes of, you know, sleep continuity, I'm still on Tuesday. But that means that when I go to bed after this and wake up, it'll be Wednesday, and they have work to do Thursday. So ideally, I want to give it to them and take their money tomorrow, which means I have to be done with it ASAP. That's as soon as possible for you non-native English speakers. I don't even know. I'm sure I have some non-native English speakers on here. But I would wonder how many. Looking at the... Uh, looking at the top revenue, like, per view, stats on YouTube is always very interesting. Because it's like... I think one time it said that I made the most ad revenue off of, like, the British Canary Islands or something. It it was weird, dude. It was it was just bizarre. All right, man, it's getting warm. So, I'm not sure um, if any of this looks any better to those of you who have seen my other streams. Part of the reason it kind of doesn't matter is that, uh, well, the truth is I switched cameras, but I also switched lenses. Look, here's the adhesive. All this adhesive has to come up. I put on my ultra-wide lens, my uh, near fisheye, because I knew this was going to be hard, and I just can't set up the camera any other way. The 35 millimeter equivalent field of uh, view on this is 15 millimeter. So if you've ever shot, you know, photography, you probably have a clue just how wide that really is. The Brits be watching me? The Brits should be in bed. The Brits should not be awake to watch me. They should they should all be asleep, rolling in, around in their beds in anger over all the stupid Americans like me that just won't stop telling them the joke when they find out that they're from Britain. Oh, are you British? You know why I said it like that? Because you drank all the tea. Arr, 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 arr. Arr, so funny. I've never heard that one before. I mean, sorry, what I meant to say is, oh, so funny. Come on, come on.
By the way, if by any chance the ninja slideshow starts to be a problem for any of you, let me know and I will cut it off or find something worse to put up there. My uh, screensaver is actually the subreddit. It's images from the subreddit called Subbubby. So you're lucky you're seeing ninjas and not like all kinds of mangled brand names that you'll never forget. Uh, the fish eye makes me look prettier. It probably thins my face out unless I get close to it. Now I've got a nose that would make certain internet forums really angry. Come on, get off. Adhesives suck. I hate these adhesives, but this is the easy part. Putting them back on is actually a lot worse. You have to match them up and you have to match them up very carefully. And uh, it sucks. I don't like doing it. I think I've spent at least as much time peeling this crap off. As I did getting that stupid drive to go in. Yep, I regret to inform you it's not the Illuminati, it's Apple, which is really a lot worse. Actually, you can't see that, can you? You can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Please don't fall down. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. See, I'm one of those guys who doesn't like to cut his fingernails. I just, I don't like doing it. It's just, it's an annoying chore. Let me get this mic as close as I can. But part of the reason I don't like to cut my fingernails is I use them as a tool all the time. Like, I could get a soft scraper to scrape these adhesives up and get a hold on them or I could use my thumbnail because that's kind of what a thumbnail is for Ew. Ugh. Ugh. no uh, it always grabs some of the screen yeah, what a piece of crap. Let go. Let go. Get off of there. You sorry bastard. Get off of the screen. So this is the other problem is that the adhesives get stuck to the stuff that goes to this screen and it's just really annoying. Okay. You can let go now. Thank you. Scumbag. It's very frustrating. Okay. Yep. Yep. We all feel the pain. Oh, do you see the friggin' clothes iron? Yeah, that's just because I moved some stuff out of the bathroom closet and haven't put it all back yet. You see the trackball too? You don't see a giant dildo collection though. Because there isn't one. I know, you're disappointed. Unfortunately, while I have attempted to repair IMAX by beating the crap out of them with a prosthetic male reproductive organ, um, the rubber nature combined with the springiness of the screen caused it to fly backwards and put me in the hospital for a month. Or at least that's the novel that I'm writing next month. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But but still, uh, 
No, um, given some of the jokes about the kind of people who buy Apple products, which we know that that's not necessarily true, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if I threw a prosthetic male organ at, at an iMac screen and the screen ate it. So, this is your classic iFixit quality parts. I just noticed how bright this is. Give me a second. I'll, I'll darken it a little bit more. That's better. iFixit's uh, adhesive pack for this. Now, like I said, I have two of these, so I actually have a whole other package. Let's see. So, I have two choices here. I can look up the guide that tells me where these go, or I can just start sticking them places and see if any of those places accept what I'm trying to stick in them. So, you know, whatever. Although the fact of the matter is, they really only go in one place. Like, this obviously can't go here. It obviously has to go up here. So, what I could do is just go ahead and apply the adhesives Yep. I mean, there's no way that that goes anywhere else, so... So, just for a moment, I would like to... I would like to draw your attention to how stupid it is that here I am, I'm a computer guy, I've been doing this for so long that it's like second nature. I practically breathe this stuff, right? I've taken apart and put together so many machines that it's just, like I say, it's kind of amazing that I, that I managed to uh, keep one thing straight from another. But here's the thing, like, I'm a long-time computer guy, a lot of experience, I've taken a lot of things apart, put a lot of things back together, I've complained about screws, I've complained about plastic clips, I've complained about stretch tape, but here I am applying six separate adhesive strips to a desktop computer it's a freaking desktop computer keep that in mind and I'm putting tape fancy tape onto it with the utmost lack of precision because that's how this goes together that's that's how this computer holds itself together why? Because we can't have screws. Those take up internal space. Screws are bad, okay? I'm sorry, Mr. Mackey. That's okay. And the real beautiful thing about this is these, these things do not have to be perfect. They just have to be kind of close you can you can see what I'm doing right you're not just seeing my arm <coughs> god I hate this and these ones that say 4L and 4R they're uh they're a little different they're a little different they're a lot different. So I've got the most obvious ones out of the way. This is bottom, this is bottom. That leaves this strip across the top, which is probably what this is. It does indeed appear to be. Yep, that's that one.
it's almost like you don't need the guide when every single one of them only fits in one place and you have a functioning brain. Now, watch me screw something up because of my posturing. I can almost guarantee you something will go horribly wrong because I'm running my big mouth. That one's off a little bit. Now, I think the way you're supposed to put these in is like using a screwdriver to sort of force it to line up with the hole or something like that. And maybe I'll do that this time for kicks. But never did it before. Sometimes it pays to read the directions, kids. All right, strip number five. Yep. <sighs> yes, MacBooks can be opened with uh, really, really old ones like 2012 and back. Um, actually, just have Phillips screws. They may have gone to Torx at some point. After that, I don't know for sure. What I can tell you for sure is that every remotely newish MacBook now, every single one, is actually pentalobe screws, not six point Torx star bits, but the same five point pentalobe crap that they put on the iPhones. Which means, of course, you need a special tool just for those. Because fuck you, we're Apple. That's why. And if that's a problem, well, like we said, fuck you, we're Apple. You know, this goes on the right and this goes on the left, but I'm actually not entirely sure where they're supposed to go so maybe I should read the directions and stop being a ninny I don't even know if that's a real word and why is that there? that's just weird So presumably, this says 4R, presumably it goes over here somewhere, but I uh, don't really see how. Yep, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Don't remember. Yep, manuals. I don't I didn't read the manual. I don't remember where 4L and 4R actually go, but I'm pretty sure that they will go. Ooh, that's kind of gross. Anyway, I got distracted. Um Pretty sure they go here and here, respectively. But like I said, that's too far over. And there is a weird notched cutout over here, too. Yeah, it is a late night stream. I have two of these. How long has this been going on? I don't even remember. Uh, 44 minutes. Well, clearly I hate myself and probably everybody else too by the time this is all said and done. Yeah, I hate doing these jobs. I absolutely hate it. 
I feel dirty just doing this, really. It sucks. It sucks so bad. Oh, I remember this. It was always really hard to, uh, to get this backing off of these bottom ones. Early morning. Look at you being technically correct. The best kind of correct, always. But yeah, I just want you to think about this. This stream... Now, granted, I haven't been doing the work for the entire stream time, but we're up to 45 minutes. And I haven't even gotten the screen back in yet. We're, we're up to 45 minutes. And I have another one of these to do. Not tonight. I'm not doing that tonight. I might do another stream tomorrow. With the, What the fuck? Okay, it's just weird. Alright, good. The adhesive is weird. What? It's like this thing is... Oh, shit. This is just typical. Piece of shit. Okay. You know what? As long as it goes in, I really do not care about the specifics. Just go in. Pretend to do your job. I'll pretend to do mine. Everybody's happy. Hey, by the way, I don't know how many of you caught that video that I made about um, how light gets your bike stolen. But uh, remember, if you did see that video, you're not allowed to support me through coffee. Well, coffee just goes to PayPal uh, or Stripe anyway. Are you in, are you in Russia or something? Because... For some reason, um, a bunch of dickheads at big tech companies have decided that citizens of Russia should be punished because of the guy running the place. So, there's that, which is nice. If that's the case, I'm sorry. Okay. So, I have the bottom adhesives exposed and ready to go which means once I put this on things are gonna get fun um a lottery because I still don't know exactly what the best way to address you is if you go to my website there are a lot of support options Libera pay may be a better option for you it supports a lot of foreign currencies and stuff too so let's Put our little fit. Okay, fine. Be that way. Let's put our fail-safe tape back on because that adhesive is not going to hold very well until it sits there for. This tape sucks. Damn the mic clip. <laughs> I got a big mouth. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me get you some brightness and cock it back up again. Oops, that's not the correct knob. Hold on. Just a minute. There we go. Okay. So we only have bottom adhesives hooked up right now. And I'm going to go in here. There we go. I gotta hook these wires here up to here. So first is this screen cable, which goes in there very, very poorly. Yep, that's gonna suck. Okay. That's gonna really suck. God, I hate doing this so much.
These iMacs suck. Now imagine you work at Apple. It's 2012 or whatever. You work at Apple. You design this computer with all these stupid short tiny cables. And then when you're done, you sit back and you go, that was some brilliant engineering. No. No, they didn't. They went, ha ha, this will keep those stupid computer people from trying to fix their own bullshit. They'll just buy a new one. In fact, that is the number one, if I had to say, uh, to pick one, I'd say that's the number one outcome for any newer Mac is uh, the people who own it buy another one and that's their repair plan just buy a new one buy a new fucking Mac asshole so I have I have twenty five hundred dollars just lying the fuck around to spend on an overpriced piece of garbage that isn't serviceable worth a crap has a shitty cooling design It's held together with tape. The company that makes it does everything in their power to make sure that you have to buy a new one if it so much as farts. Although if your computer farts, you probably have much more serious problems to deal with, frankly. And the worst part of this whole thing is that if I screw this up, like if I've done anything wrong, I'll have to cut these adhesives again and take it all back apart. There's no good way to test it. Like here, take a shitty guess. Have fun. All right. Moment of truth. Now do you guys see why I have that blanket right there? That's a lifesaver. You know, I can't help but wonder if I have uh, forgotten something, but that's a typical thought. <clears throat> okay, get this wedge out. Remember this? I'll need it for the other one. So I better not beat it up too much for dramatic effect. I actually, the first one that these people paid for to get this done, um, that's the one that I bought all the special tools on. And then I'm reusing the same special tools they helped to pay for. All right. I need to see if this works. It may work, it may not. Let's go ahead and turn it on. No! Oh, sorry, that was a reflex. Uh. The screen on this thing is a little tiny bit dirty, it seems, but... Maybe I'll put some alcohol on it and clean it up later. I'll be needing this for the next one. All my tools are there. Okay, it's booting. That's always a good thing. Why is there smoke coming out of the back? No, I'm kidding. You know that's my favorite joke, right? Ugh. My ninjas are gone. Where did my ninjas go? Ninjas! You can boot now. Oh, great. 
All right, then. So that's where I am. But the drive is in the computer. So we can't be too far off. Let's try something. Where's that stupid button? There it is. Let me get rid of some of this trash over here. This is this is particularly bad. One one screen replace this is one screen replacement worth of plastic film crap here. And keep in mind on a PC all in one you just shove a tool in and pop plastic clips and everything just sort of falls apart. But not on this thing. Oh no. Gotta glue everything together, you son of a assholes. Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, let's try this. Hold option. You need uh need it to be a little darker. Okay, that's weird. There are two Macintosh HDs. I don't think that's supposed to be the case. It would help if I turned the mouse on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be the case. I think it may have been booting from the data partition. What the crap? <sighs> Come on now. Don't disappoint me. Hell yeah, it's wine. What do you think I'm going to do? I'm gonna drink some rosé. And there it is. Yep, it was trying to boot from the freaking data partition. Are you kidding me right now? I don't want to show you too much about whose it is, but there you go, so. Woohoo, a computer. I love how it has to verify Dropbox every single friggin' time. All right, so it's good. Now there's one more thing I have to do, though. So we're not out of the woods yet. We've got it booting, but one more thing, very important. Command option U. No, I'm sorry, command shift U. And then terminal. Sudo trim force enable password. Are you sure this will void your warranty and stab your infant? right in the butthole with a knife thanks apple you're, you're so generous with your all i want is to use trim on my ssd but of course there has to be some kind of horrific murder of a child involved because that's how the geniuses do it oh jesus captain america one the reason that people do it is that no one thinks about shit breaking when they spend the money on it unless they know better some people have more money than sense I'm not one of those people <sighs> maybe I'll switch over to a no nah, I better not mess with the lens I have better I have better choices in that regard but yeah uh, is it seriously it's not trying to do it again is it I think it's defaulting to booting to the data partition every time. Like, why? Why do you hate me? Yep, that's what it's doing. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do something to convince it that it's stupid. That is just so weird. Why would you do that? <clears throat> I can't ask the customer to hold option and hit up every single time they have a problem. So stupid. So stupid. Alright. Trim should be enabled, but this thing still needs to boot, man. If you look, yeah, if you work as a graphic designer, your peers look down on you. Well, f 
fuck your peers. Anybody who looks down on you for not having a Mac is a dumb shit. And you shouldn't care about their opinions. They can shove their opinions right up their backsides. Because their opinions are ill-informed and stupid. I don't care if you have a fruit on the back of your phone or not. You can run Adobe Illustrator. Who gives a shit? Alright. Startup disk. Click the lock. Oh my god. Boom. Yep. Figures. All right, let's shut her down. You need to elaborate on the Dunning-Kruger effect on Mac for me. Because, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to blow my nose, it's been too long. Christ. Okay. Don't worry, I'll douse it with alcohol whenever I get done. Alright, boot from the correct one this time, please. For the love of God, I really don't have time for this crap. Don't stop. Don't you stop. Don't you stop, you piece of shit. Oh, there it goes. Startup disk control panel. That's what it needed. Just had to bless it a little bit. Although bless is what you did on 68K Max. Oh! I don't even know if it works. I have it for a data recovery. But, uh... Oh, God. Oh, you heavy piece of shit. Ah! God! Speaking of 68K! Fuck you. Look at that convincing, ugly thing. Ah! We'll get around to this one of these days. Oh, go back under the desk where you belong. Jesus Christ. Those things are really heavy. I mean, even for a CRT, they're really heavy. It's like they're made of metal, but they're not. They're made of plastic and metal. Wait, let me check this real quick. Command I. Capacity 999.86 gigs. Available 556. Hell yeah. So someone asked about pricing earlier. Um, with uh, the parts, the labor, you know, everything combined, this is probably costing them about 270 Almost half of it's the SSD. And almost half of it is the labor. But the parts cost a little more because the adhesive kit alone is like 30 bucks, I think. 35, I can't remember. Anywho. So this computer's done. There is nothing else to do with it. I'm gonna need this for the other Mac. So. Take this down. I actually have this camera set up in such a way that I can move it wherever I want to. Maybe I should give you a quick tour. <coughs> oh, I got you. You're just referring to the general Dunning-Kruger effect. Uh, the new SSD is one terabyte. This is a one... It's like a 1.25 somehow terabyte fusion drive. It might, it might have been a 256 gig built in. Yes or no what? So the uncommon noob, you said Jody Bruce on tech, yes or no. But I'm looking back and I don't see microphone in the background? Where? What are we talking about here? Yeah, that fish eye is gonna Yeah. I haven't done a very good job of sanitizing the background. You'll see all kinds of stuff you're not supposed to see. So, you know, whatever. I don't give a shit. 
So this is the microphone I'm talking to you on right now. Yeah, um, is this the microphone you're talking about? Because, you know, yeah, it's a microphone. It's a cheap microphone, actually. There's a lot of stuff. I actually don't remember when that was Apple's tagline. It, it does more. It costs less. It's that simple. That must have been a long time ago. I do have over 100 gigabytes of um, archived Apple commercials and product launches and other stuff. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know why I'm still fiddling with this stupid trick ball. So, I'll tell you what. Um, let me give you a really, really quick kind of sort of tour of what I have going on here. Just so you can see what I work with. Alright. Since I have this on a much longer cable right now, I can actually show you. Let me get the screen out. Alright. That is fairly obvious, I think, but. That's the Dell that I'm using to do this broadcast. I paid $50 for this. It's living the tent life. Mostly because I just figured this might be an easier way to deal with it. It takes up a little less room when the screen doesn't have to be butted up against these drawers. So that's cool. This is my uh, ninja status monitor. It lets me know how my ninjas are doing. You know, some people have other things that are in words. I have ninjas. Um, this is a cell phone. It's a cell phone. Uh, this is all the trash that I need to clean up. But yeah, there's a Samson mic over here that I just picked up because I don't have a dynamic mic. Uh, USB cable. Tools, lots of tools actually. You know, utility knife, epoxy, screwdrivers, you name it. All the little tools that I use are there. I have a bin here just of USB to whatever's. Yeah, there you go. USB to SATA, that kind of thing. Um, battery chargers, the little storage baggies, USB to SATA things that need to go back home. Go home. That's your home. It's good for your home. Ow, Jesus. Don't step on SNCC. This, I uh, got this at Target actually, it's a laptop desk, but its value for me is that it gives me storage underneath whatever laptop I'm working on. This is my non-drinking alcohol to sanitize my wounds from all the customers yelling at me. Uh, batteries that are probably bad. There's a hot air rework station. Bunch of computers I'm working on that I set aside for this. That's all my video capture stuff for VHS and S, uh, VHSC and Hi8. There's VCRs. That's an old PC with a bunch of composite video capture. There's the white cube, my Ryzen 5 system that I don't do anything with right now. There's the big one I just built right here. Let's see. The wires are tangled up on my chair now. That's pretty cool. Yep. Ew. Something dirty got me. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess that's about it. I can't think of anything else. <coughs> so, yeah, you get the idea. Um, if you wonder how this is hooked up, by the way, I have... This is a cheap USB video capture device from eBay. It was like 20 bucks. They are perfectly fine. I run it in 720p on this computer because it's so weak that the built-in quick sync doesn't seem to hold up at 1080. That is a Pile Pad 10MXU audio interface. It can handle one phantom power microphone and a couple of other things, but I just use it for a phantom power interface. They're like 40 bucks worth every red cent. This is my desktop tripod. It's an orange monkey tripod 50V. Uh, this thing has been so worth it. That is a Manfrotto Compact Advanced tripod that I got from Best Buy a long time ago, like 10 years ago. 
and it's smaller than my video tripods so it's actually really useful for stuff like this you can see in fact that the leg is extended to the ground there that's that's how I get it to sit up on this table like this the legs extended all the way to the ground that's a panel LED light the kit actually if you look the kits right there that that black bag that's the kit for that light and you can see I've got other lighting over there too which isn't on right now because it's really unnecessary um, let's see oh yeah the lens you guys usually see me through is this one that's the Panasonic 12 to 35 and then the camera you've been watching all my live streams on and the lens that I've been doing most of my pre-recorded studio stuff with is this a Panasonic G7 and a Sigma 16 millimeter this was actually my first 4k camcorder and the only reason I got any, something better is because I got a bunch of YouTube cash and I sold off my Canon so there you go but yeah most of my stuff I film on these two Panasonics and these two lenses uh, or three lenses if you will there's uh, three lenses there anyway I imagine you guys didn't come here to, to listen to me talk about filmmaking equipment so I'll just go ahead and cut it here um, I'll probably live stream the other one tomorrow tomorrow later today technically I'll probably live stream the other one um, maybe 10 hours from now and also uh, if you've been watching my YouTube posts you probably know that I got a Panasonic DVX 100 it's coming tomorrow that's gonna be exciting um, it's a big honking thing like I've got camcorders but we're talking like a pro camcorder this thing is serious business now it dates back to DV tapes so it's low resolution but I got it for well you'll find out I left some hints in the post where I talked about it but yeah you'll figure it out don't tell anyone if you know who I'm talking about alright I'm gonna get off of here um, this thing's not wide open oh I'm so much brighter now but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut this I need to go to bed I don't know if you can tell but I sound awful sick don't I <clears throat> I had to talk most of the day of course my voice was the worst this morning so of course everybody shows up phone calls all day it's a mess tomorrow if you want you can watch me do the same thing to a 2019 iMac um, with, they're built almost exactly the same like they just very little difference across the years and yes that means that every other Mac every other Mac after like I don't know 2013 or so has an SSD like an NVMe SSD 2019 they were still selling iMacs with hard drives and fusion drives not solid-state drives by default <sighs> but at least it's upgradable you know what you can do with the 2019 iMac that you can never do with the 2019 MacBook Pro upgrade the solid-state drive capacity without spending twenty six hundred dollars on a new freaking computer don't get me started y'all take care I'm gonna get off of here stop recording stop streaming thank you for watching have a good one